Hi and welcome to my channel. This is kind of a revival of the previous channel. The content's going to be better and newer and fresher and just better. So yeah. I'm coming back with a little, not a review, but like a verdict. This is kind of like my verdict on Squirrel Free September. Those of you who don't know what Squirrel Free September is, it's basically just like this thing, this, what would you call it? It's like a challenge. Squirrel Free September is about taking the month off of social media. And I did it from the 1st to the 30th of September. I was non-existent on social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and WhatsApp. I kept YouTube because I think I would have actually gone insane. <laughs> After this month, only three of the five have remained active, so did it work? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not here to judge whether it worked or not. I'm here to tell you how I got on with it and why I think it's really important. The first week was probably the most difficult. I was worried um, that I was missing out on things, I was wondering if people were going to notice that I was gone, um, I was wondering if people were going to be worried or angry because they didn't see my message because I tried to like tell as many people as I could but I think that's natural, like, if you're not on social media for like a day, you na- the sun keeps coming in and out, it's really annoying me. It was just, it was just weird. It was weird and it was hard. My fingers wanted to scroll and there was nothing to scroll. So I downloaded a news app, Google News. That kind of helped with the scrolling thing, but it, it I felt distance. Doesn't make any sense. I felt a distance between me and the online communities that I'm a part of and all my friends that I only connect with online. It was, weird it was a weird week by the second week it was getting a bit easier to um get along a lot better and not feel as bad about it i'd got a new job at the beginning of september so whether that had something to do with the not having to worry about social media taking up my time because i had a job to take up my time um i don't know if that was something um, I do feel like I had something else to occupy my mind after three months of unemployment. You're always on social media because there's nothing, I mean there's loads to do, but you feel like there's nothing else to do when you have a presence on social media. The main thing that I noticed when doing Scroll Free September was my anxiety levels. Now for people who know me know that I suffer from really bad anxiety and panic attacks. Over the course of September, I see that, um, that made no sense there. Over the course of September, I saw that feeling decrease a lot. Considering I started a new job, brand new people, brand new place, you know, the job that I'm in now is a lot bigger than the job I was in previously, um, and I'm with all these different people every single day, and, I've not had a panic attack once, I've not really felt anxious once, I think there was one occasion in September where I did. Um, so whether that's because I came off social media, um, maybe it's a coincidence, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like being away from social media definitely made me healthier um, and feel lighter. By the third and fourth week I was beginning to think about whether I could stay off social media for longer. And the answer is I probably could. It doesn't bother me that much now if I just disappear. The only problem is I feel like it's an impossibility. And there's a number of reasons why. The main reason is most of my friends or friends who I communicate with are online. I communicate via Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And without that presence, I'm not communicating as much with my friends. Whether this is something you could fix, you could pick up a phone number, you could get an email address. I've recently started writing letters to my close friends 
um, I could get addresses and write letters. You don't have to do it on social media. But it's been ingrained into the society that to communicate with people, it has to be through social media. Which kind of makes you feel like if you're asking... It's just, it's just a weird concept from internet friends, if that makes sense. My conclusion after four weeks off... I want to say the internet, but that's a lie. Uh, after four weeks of being off social media, is that it's very much a part of our society now. In the Victorian and Edwardian age, there wasn't a lot. You didn't have technology. You didn't have all the wonderful things that keep us occupied today. Um, they had to entertain themselves with other things, like a piano. And you get to the 1900s, and mid-1900s especially, and everybody has a piano in their house. Everybody. It was cheap to buy. Because this was the way of entertaining themselves. Nowadays, we have the internet and social media. Just flick on, scroll down, see what Billy and Bob are doing, you know. It gives you a little bit of entertainment. And, you know, now it's really expensive to buy pianos. Nobody really has a piano in their house. But everybody has a computer and everybody has access to the internet and most people have social media because that's the way that we relieve boredom these days. So, you know, whether you think social media is bad or good or you're undecided, it is what it is. We have social media. I don't see myself ever coming off social media because that's my age range. That's how our generation entertain ourselves. It's how we relieve our boredom. It's how we communicate. That's just what it is. What we make of it, it's different. Whatever you believe, I challenge you to take a month off social media. <laughs> that is so crazy. I wonder how many people, how many of the 10 people who watch this will actually take this up. Delete your apps, log off all your accounts, and don't go on social media for a month and see how you get on. Can you go longer than a month? See if you can go longer than a month. If a month seems too challenging for you, try a week. See how you can get on with a week. If you can't do a week, ask yourself why. It's a really good psychological and sociological test. So to conclude, um, personally, I think social media is a positive tool. Source? I cannot speak. Is a positive force. I think it does more good than bad depending on who's using it and how they're using it. I think it's a personal thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of insightful and I hope you take on the challenge of staying a month off social media. And if you do, or even if it's a week, let me know how you get on. And yeah, like if you liked, comment if you wanna comment and subscribe if you're interested. There'll be a lot more videos coming up soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah. I hope you stick around. See you for now.